Hey everyone, today I'm in New Berlin, New York at the Unadilla Valley Railway Museum. This is a depot that they purchased. The museum's inside. It's a work in progress, but they have a lot of great photographs. So let's go inside and uh, check it out. By the way, I'm staying in the shadow because the sun's really bright and I don't want to get too much glare on the camera. But let's go in and uh, see what there is. All right, as you walk in, here's some of the newsletters, pass those letters you can uh, take. And there are a lot of great photographs of the three railroads that actually came here. We have the Unadilla Valley Railway. I'll just give you a quick scan of the photos. And one thing I really like is the, the Camelback. And there's the last engine to be on the line. Oh, here's a builder's photograph of there. Sorry for the glare. I think this was a, what's this? 70 ton GE. And like I tell you guys, with all the museums I visited, Videos just don't do them justice. All the great photographs and collections. And here's the Delaware Lackawanna Western Railway. What I love is these old steam engines with a lot of camelbacks. We're in this region. Like I said, I'm just giving you a quick Tour, lots of paperwork they've collected. Stock certificates. A whole bunch of insulator collections. This piece is cool. I'll go back up. Big switch stand. That one's impressive, usually it's not that tall. And then we have pictures of the New York Ontario Western Railway. There's some really interesting photographs, like their snowplow. And their camelbacks. Ooh, there's an old stop sign. I think they use those, uh, when you had guys at the crossing and the crossing tracks would come out and say stop when train was coming. All kinds of rail pieces. Whistle. Spike, Bell. You have the Delaware and Hudson, which ran uh, Oneana, which isn't far from here. I forgot to mention, this is about an hour away from Binghamton, this museum. And I'll leave their link to their website so you can get more information about the museum here. That's an old crossing. That is cool. Your old whistle sign. And then this is the Southern New York Railway, which it told me was running in Oneana, New York. It was an electric, I believe, line, like a trolley line. And then we got some more paperwork collection here. Okay, now we're going to the back part of the depot. It's just all kinds of collectibles. Track pieces and equipment. I mean, there's just an amazing collection of photos here. And if you like history and old photographs, this is a great place to come. And if you go back in here, there's an operating lamp. This is old gauge. small Thomas layout and there's gonna be plans 
to run the length. The depot back here with the HO layout of the Uinta Valley Railway. All right, you know what? Here's some interesting thing. Tin plate. That is cool. And this means you gotta you gotta uh, investigate all the corners because every time I turn around, I see more and more stuff. This is cool. See, those are tongs for lifting the rail. Like I said, you really can't come here and explore it yourself. There's just so much. I want to show you the picture of this caboose. As far as I know, this is the only surviving Unadilla, Unadilla Valley Railway piece left, and it's down in Arkville, New York, and it's been restored. 